Welcome back to the channel. So I got the invite for the iOS and PC Xbox Cloud Gaming. And on PC now we have the 1080p in the browser. And on iOS we've got the uh, Safari browser working there. So we're going to go in here and just do a quick little overview of what's going on. We still fully are in beta and early access here. And they're rolling out invitations as we go. So jumping into the phone app, when you get onto xbox.com slash play and you're logged into your account and you have been invited, you'll be able to add this to your home screen as a shortcut right here and just be able to click on and go to cloud gaming. Now for me, I've had to resign in every time I click on this. I'm not sure why. Um, you guys can let me know if you're having a similar issue, but other than that, it works really well here. So I'll show you, we've got our shortcut. If I click this, uh, I'll have to sign in again and it'll do this to me every time. But anyways, let's get signed in and we'll take a look at the phone app here running on the browser for xCloud or Xbox game streaming or Game Pass game streaming or whatever they want to call it. So here we go. We're on the menu for cloud gaming for our beta. And uh, the UI is pretty clean and it looks similar to the test app that was on the PC. And you can see here in our account settings, we don't have any major settings for uh, the stream or, or choosing resolution or anything like that, but just a few, uh, few standard options in here. So when you go down through the app here, you'll have uh, the top highlighted area. You've got your jump back in section. So any games you've been playing, they've got a great selection of about 50 play with touch games with touch controls specifically made for those games. So I'm excited to get in, check those out on iOS. We've also got game pass recently added leaving soon. We've got our categories and then a section where you can go in and see all games. So let's go ahead and jump in, uh, turn our phone the other way here. We'll get uh, landscaped and we'll do the, we'll go ahead and jump into a game here and it's going to look the same, just kind of more spread out. And we'll go ahead and I think we'll go down here and jump into uh, Dirt 5 for a minute. I've been playing a lot of uh, the show since it came out and Outriders, of course, but I want to jump into something different here. So it, I'll skip us through this. It doesn't take long for these games to, to load up. So jumping into some Dirt 5 on the iPhone 12 Pro. Now, I didn't have any latency issues, but that connection icon up there, I have that no matter what. I, I don't know what's up. It's definitely not the uh, internet uh, or anything like that. And it just seems to be that way all the time. I don't know if it's a false read uh, or what's going on. Latency for me was no problem. Uh, my running into the walls is the small screen. Uh, but uh, yeah, it felt fine. Uh, bit rate was good most of the time. There were a couple dips here and there, but like I said, that connection, that's that's not accurate over there. That's just been just stuck there. Uh, no matter what internet I'm on, no matter what iPhone I'm using, it's just, it's there. So let me know if you guys are having that kind of an issue as well. Other than that though, the game played just fine. So jumping over to the PC app, very, very uh, similar. It's the same layout, but of course more spread out being on the PC and in the Edge browser here. Same typical thing up top. You've got your highlighted area. You've got your uh, jump back in section down at the bottom, just like we had on the phone. You've got your account section, same exact settings in here. Not much to go on right now. And then, like I said, your jump back in section, your game pass section, recent, leaving soon. All the same stuff is over on the phone, just more spread out, a little easier to see. And I don't get uh, that connection icon or issues on the PC. I haven't had that pop up not once on me here, so. Going in to see all games, I'll just kind of scroll through all these. This is in alphabetical order, so if there's a certain game you're looking for, if you're not already familiar with all the games on xCloud at the moment, uh, you can see all of them right here really quickly as I just kind of scroll through um, and get through these. So definitely they have the content and the games continue to get added, but we still need uh, increased quality and stability of the streaming itself and of the games rendering. Um, when we get to those Series X blades, that's when I think xCloud gets very, very serious and will become very viable cloud gaming for me. Uh, but right now in its current condition, it still feels uh, very much like beta, but it's getting cleaner all the time. And I can definitely see where this is headed. I think xCloud will be one of the top gaming uh, cloud gaming places by the end of the year or rolling into next spring. So let's just launch it into MLB The Show here. Like I did before on the phone, I'll skip us through 
and we'll just jump into the gameplay. So this would be 1080 on the PC, and like I said, this is running really well for me. Uh, same internet as my phone, and like I said, on my phone, no matter where I try or, or two or three different phones, I just that connection icon is always there. Uh, on the PC, though, it's a totally different thing. It doesn't pop up at all. Uh, I have a pretty good experience. I would call it better than the experience on iOS right now. And uh, for the most part, pretty good. Um, no disconnects or like buffering times like the test app used to kind of rebuffer and, and that type of thing. It's been working pretty well. Uh, there again, though, same idea. I can't wait till we get those upgraded blades. The, the game's rendering a little nicer. The stream's a little nicer. But this is definitely getting there. And it's really exciting to see Xbox games um, coming to the cloud the way that they are. I think Microsoft's doing a good job. And they're not trying to rush it too much. So we'll probably be in that beta phase for a little bit here. All right, so if you want, you can go up here and click on your Xbox button. And that's going to allow you to see your friends, start a party, do invitations, quit your game, do that type of thing. You can see your achievements. And then over here with your three dots, you've got your exit full screen, quit game, and that type of thing. So we can click quit game. You can offer your input there. And there you go. It'll take us back to our browser. So everything working really good. It does feel a bit beta, but uh, it's definitely looking way better than xCloud ever has so far. So I'm excited to see where this goes. So thanks a lot for coming to watch. Really appreciate it. See you guys in the next one.